So hey guys, how you doing today? I'm back again with another tutorial on how to find a niche for your blog. So if you're just tuning into my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and also click the notification button so you can get notified whenever I put out tutorials on how you can make some money online. So all you old subscribers i just want to say you guys are awesome and uh, let's get this party started okay first off i want you to go ahead and create a list you are gonna ask yourself five questions and these are very important questions it will help you narrow down uh, exactly what it is that you want to be providing as a service online so number one what is your product interest or service what kind of a problem will your products interest or service solve who would be your target audience what age range would benefit from your product interest or service where is your target audience located do you have a local uh, restaurant are you a doctor do you have a clinic? Do you have a gym, a local gym? Or do you offer digital services? Now, first off, before we get started, before you start thinking about niches and getting all those good ideas, I just want to let you in in a top secret. The most profitable niches online are health, wealth, and relationships. The health niche is heavily saturated. Yes, you can make money in the health niche, but it's really slow. You need to have a lot of subscribers. You need to have a trustful audience, a loyal trustful audience that really trusts you to buy uh, health products from you. So next you're left with the wealth and relationship category. Now this is the most profitable. Just think about it. What gets your blood pumping? Money, love and love they, those are the two uh categories that gets a person's blood pumping now that's the truth guys you see all of these people making money online all of these videos you see on youtube make six figures and i don't know how many thousands and hundreds and millions and and so on these people sell uh, wealth they sell products they sell products on how to make money online they sell you products on how you can make money online and most of these products they don't they don't teach you nothing you don't you don't get anything in return you just spend your money and most of them are scams i don't want to be bashing on anyone but it's the truth guys i don't want to i don't want you to waste your time i want you to start making money as soon as possible get into the right niche that will be profitable and uh, you don't want to waste your time like I did when I first started out. So you really need to just focus on the wealth and the relationship category. So now the most profitable niches online are heavily saturated like the health, wealth and relationship. They are really saturated. So if you want to get into those niches, you have to be prepared to do the research it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of research to help to get to to narrow down uh your topic as much as you can so that is going to help you reduce your level of competition in those niches if you choose any one of them so you need to break it down when you're trying to go after a niche you must first break it down into categories for let's say for example you you want to go into the health niche you're going to narrow your category down as much as possible you're going to search it you're going to break it down into body parts you're going to have heart uh heart health liver health lung health eye health you know you get the picture or if you want to go into the food section of the health category you're going to target the vegetables fruits or certain types of uh, diseases let's say you want to go for allergies uh, seasonal al allergies that is a niche that you can get into you want to go for asthma eczema and those are all niches that you can get to uh, into in the health category 
and but you are yes you will make money if you can uh create great reviews on certain products people are gonna buy from you yes you can but it's gonna be really slow at first you need to have a loyal following now your goal is to find a highly searched for body part that's just an example with very very low competition let's say you went into the health niche you want to break it down as much as possible for uh, let's say you went for arm weight loss or detox water recipes that's actually a niche that i am in but you can go for it. i think there there's a domain name and it's free you have about 30,000 searches per month and your competition is really low for detox water recipes if you want to get into that and you also have chicken recipes those are really uh niched down uh niches in the health categories that you can go after now for the wealth category you want to go after something like work from home jobs you are going to be creating articles about jobs that people can uh, do from home or if you want to go into the affiliate marketing section you need to break the affiliate marketing uh, niche down because there are a lot of sub niches in the affiliate marketing category social media marketing you want to go for something like YouTube marketing Pinterest marketing Facebook marketing those are all saturated and highly competitive niches but you can break it down as much as possible so now if you want to go into the relationship category, you could f target something like how to get your ex back, Russian girls, or you want to target in the relationship category, you want to target dating. Your, your main objective should be in the dating section because you have a lot of products in with CPA networks, affiliate networks. They have a lot of digital products that you can promote if you had a site around dating, uh, finding uh, relationships and stuff like that you just have to narrow them down as much as possible so what do you need to look for when you are doing your research for example I am going to be researching right now how to lose uh, arm fat that is how uh, low that is how much I've broken it down uh, because I want to be as specific as possible. I want whatever topic that I want to cover. I want to. I want it to be to a specific uh, demographic, so that when I'm doing paid ads, I want to know who my target market is. That's why you made that list at the beginning of this video. So you have uh, this particular key phrase. This uh, niche has twenty. 7,100 monthly searches your cost per click is a dollar and 55 and your competition is really low you want to look for a competition that has 0, 0.0 from 1 to 5 0. 0.01 to 0. 0.05 that those are um, great uh, keywords if you can find keywords in those in the wealth and the relationship categories with those uh, competition level those are very low competition and you can rank easily on Google with those low levels of competition keywords so let's get this party started now we are going to be researching right now I'm just just to give you an idea on how to use the tools that I recommended in the blog post the Uber suggest and the uh, keywords everywhere tool. I'm going to show you guys how to use that next. And we are going to be researching how to lose arm fat. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. So right now you want to go to Google and type in keywords everywhere for Chrome and select the first result. I know my uh, subscribers, you guys know all about keyword uh, everywhere tool. But this is for a blog post, so you guys have to bear with me. Okay, so you need to click on this green icon that says Add to Chrome Bar. Once you've added that to your Chrome Bar, come up here, click on the little K icon, and you want to switch, you want to activate this tool. Just click on the On. You don't need to sub subscribe or create an email address or anything. Now let's go back to Uber Suggest. Just type in Uber Suggest in Google. Once you've activated the tool, you are going to be able to get your competition and cost per click. So you select the first uh, result, just a second, and this is Uber Suggest.
and Uber suggests I'm going to type in how to lose arm fat just to give you an idea now if I was going to get a domain name my domain name would be how to lose arm fat now Google yes they don't give as much weight as they used to in uh, uh, exact uh, key phrases in the domain name but it does still help rank your site in Google I know for a fact because I just created a website and I'm already ranking on Google for that particular uh, phrase so yes this is what you want to see when you get into uber suggest how to lose arm fat so there you have 20,000 27,000 um, let me just make this bigger for you guys yep a second okay you have 27,000 monthly searches in your co your competition is 0 0.04 this is what you always want to see so when I create this site and I get this domain name, how to lose arm fat, what I'm going to do next is I am going to view all of these keywords as text. Once you view them as text, you can save this on um, Word or Notepad and you want to create, uh, these are all long tail keywords. You want to create blog posts are on all of these keywords this is what you want to do you can download it and it's gonna get gave you a I don't know what what they call the file but once you get the keyword that you want and you get your domain name you want to collect all of the the other keywords in here long tail keywords and you want to save them to your computer because you are gonna be making um, blog posts around them so this is how you use Oprah suggest and the keywords everywhere tool it is going to help you a lot to be able to give your your cost your monthly search volume and you could also use this on Google let's go back to Google you don't really need to open up Uber suggest but I just want to show you show you why I like Uber suggest let's say for example you just click on this uh, keyword you could expand this keyword you could expand it and you can also look at it in Google Trends to see if this particular keyword are still is still getting searches in Google Trends it's, if people are still searching for it for it in 2017 that's why I like to use Uber suggest because you can expand the keyword you can use uh, click on Google Trends and it's gonna take you to Google Trends and you're gonna get data on this particular phrase if people the reason why this isn't opening up because I have less than a hundred thousand monthly search volume for this particular keyword but if I had a hundred thousand and more you would be able to find as much data as you want let's go back to Google okay how to lose our fat okay if you type that into Google you are still going to get this is where your monthly search volume and your competition is also going to get uh, you're going to get that in Google as well now if I had these in I don't know what you guys call it but I call it brackets okay I want to see exact results this is uh, 820,000 now anything under uh, 500,000 results is going to be really really easy to rank uh, on Google but this is okay once you can throw a few backlinks to your blog post uh, you would be able to rank on the first or second pages of Google search so this is really great you could also uh, limit this down to insight title just type that in insight title and you see you've uh, narrowed it down to 338 so this is a great keyword that if you created a site around you would be able to rank as soon as possible as you can see the long tail keywords here they also have low competition so this is a great keyword to build a site around now you also want to go ahead and once you find your keyword that you want to use, I've already told you guys that you don't want to go into the health categories. You want to go into the wealth and relationship, but this is how you are going to do your research. I can't do it for you because it's going to take like forever. You need like hours to really find that perfect 
uh, niche that you want to get into but I've told you what you need to know the really important part also once you've uh, you're satisfied with your keyword and you found the right keyword that you want to use you can go onto Amazon and search for products in your niche because you are going to be uh, using Amazon products to promote to your audience so you want to find a see if Amazon okay you want to find see how many results you have it isn't really important how many results because Amazon they add products daily so you have uh, 412 products here you want to scroll all the way down because you don't want to recommend products less than four stars up you want your followers to trust you so now that we've uh, uh, filtered that down to the four stars you have you're left with 87 products and you also want to sort this down to high to low because you want to recommend a uh, high priced item that you can make a great commission off of so you have this uh this product is 145 and you have 98 customers review and you see you get a lot of cool products here for arm uh, weight loss you can recommend you can create blog posts around you can create reviews and you can recommend them to your audience so this is how let's see if I've covered everything let's go back to the blog post okay so if you guys haven't checked out my website already you need to go ahead and do that it is start a mommy blog.com and this is the post blog post that I'm creating for this video and um, let me see if I've left anything out so yeah I've showed you guys how to get long tail keywords and all of that all of those good stuff guys so yeah this is how you create a you find a niche for your blog so you guys are amazingly awesome as always I hope to uh, learn something from this video just don't go for those uh, really highly competitive keywords you want to be as specific as possible if you want to rank on Google if you don't want to have a high level of competition you want to go for uh, specific keywords be specific as possible you guys are awesome thanks for watching and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to my blog so that you can get uh, updates newsletters blog posts that I put out you get it first in your email so thank you guys so much for watching you guys are awesome and yeah have a great one.